we used to race motocross together and I fell in front of my dad and he ran me over and legit have tread mark scar uh, on my back from it. Oh my God, that must have hurt a lot. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I'm Dustin Lynch and this is Candlelight Confessions. Ow, dang it. Have you ever been fired from a job? I've never been fired from a job, no. I've quit a job, um, left lunch, came back with a box, put stuff in a box and said, peace out. That was a great killer. What was the job? The job was I was analyzing sewage runoff at an environmental lab. Probably the worst job I've ever had in my life. What was so bad about it? Let me think. The fact that I had to open jars of human feces every morning after coffee <laughs> was the worst part about it. And I'll have you know, in certain situations, it builds up pressure in the jars and you get a nice explosion whenever you open up a jar every now and again. Do you believe in aliens? I absolutely believe in aliens. Uh, the universe is so big and there's so many other possibilities for there to be life, water, light. I think, um, are there ali aliens among us? Probably. Last movie you cried at? I don't get to go to the, to the actual theater a whole lot. Last movie I slept through, Frozen 2. <laughs> Last movie I cried at, I was out on my bus and I was watching Forrest Gump. It's just kind of, I don't know why I get watery eyes every time I watch that movie. Um, I guess I'm just pulling for Forrest. How many cowboy hats do you own? I have no idea how many cowboy hats I own because I opened up a closet in my house packing to come to New York a few days ago and I found four new boxes of cowboy hats I didn't know I had. So, I mean, we're in the, we're in the dozens, I would say. Dozens and dozens of cowboy hats right now. Do you have a favorite one? Um, my favorite cowboy hat is usually the one I'm wearing. Really, really weird about cowboy hats. Some days I'll like this one. The other day I'll look in the mirror and go, no, it's that one. So it's just, it just depends on what mood I'm in. They're slightly all a little bit shaped differently. So I don't know. I don't know what that means. What's your good luck charm? I would say my good luck charm has to be on the road. It has to be my band because if I've got all of them in place and ready to rock, um, usually we have a great time. So I don't, I don't have an actual object that's in my pocket, um, like a Buckeye or something. You know what a Buckeye is? Anyways, rabbit's foot, none of that. What's your reality TV show guilty pleasure? Uh, Wicked Tuna it has to be a reality show. I really enjoy it. I love to fish and the idea of catching a fish that would change my life with thousands and thousands of dollars if I get it to the boat sounds like an awesome job to me. What song do you secretly belt out in the shower? The song I belt out randomly in the shower it has to be a Bing Crosby version of it's, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and this could hit in the summertime. I have no idea what's wrong with me, but Bing gets me going when I'm sudden up. Who is your celebrity crush as a kid? Uh, my celebrity crush as a kid was Reba McIntyre. Just was. She was awesome. She was all over the TV, all over the radio growing up. And um, weirdly enough, this life has connected us and we're buds and she inducted me into the Grand Ole Opry. Um, that's got, a, what a dream come true that's been. What was it like the first time meeting her? The first time meeting Reba, she actually saw me. I didn't see her. She just knew I had a crush on her. She was rehearsing for an award show and I was rehearsing, announcing a part of the show across the room and I hear Reba McIntyre's voice screaming my name behind me. And she comes running down the, the catwalk of the stage and bends down and gives me a hug in the middle of her sound check. And if I wasn't in love enough, that was just awesome. What's one thing on the internet about you that you wish no one knew? I have no, I, I honestly, I'm not ashamed of anything that the world knows about me. There's probably some annoying habit I do on our vlogs or on my social media when I talk that people can't stand. I don't know about it, so let me know. What is your guilty pleasure? I have a love affair with ice cream, most importantly, Dairy Queen blizzards. And it's legit the only reason I work out because I, I just have a problem. I have an addiction. So thank you, DQ. What goes into your Dairy Queen blizzard? Uh, Dairy Queen blizzard, newest, newest love is the s'mores, Dairy Queen blizzard. It is just, mind-blowing in fact swiss my videographer we both he was behind me driving and i took my first bite and it was so good i looked in my rearview mirror and he swerved off the road his bite was so good too <laughs> they're that good people go get a s'mores dairy queen blizzard if you could switch bodies with a celebrity for a day who would it be bodies 
If I could switch bodies with a celebrity for a day, it would definitely be The Rock. Um, that dude, <laughs> I, I would just want to know what it feels like to be the biggest badass on earth. I love that guy. If you were The Rock for the day, what would you do? If I was The Rock for a day, I would, I would be on his cheat day when he can eat anything he wants. Because watching that man eat this much sushi followed by this many cookies and some ice cream, of course, um, I think it'd be a great feeling. And then to just lean back and feel how big that wallet is in the back pocket. I would do that. I would, I would go from here to here and then back. That'd be, that's, that'd be what I do all day. Do you have any scars? I do have scars, yes. Um, my favorite scar, actually I have two favorite scars. One is from a surfing accident on my foot. The other is from a motorcycle wreck. Um, I was racing my dad. We used to race motocross together and I fell in front of my dad and he ran me over and legit have tread mark scar uh, on my back from it.